Hello, artists. Let's take a look at some art by one of my favorite artists, Robin Mead. She is a contemporary artist, which means she is making art right now. I found a lot of these images on her website. These are mandalas, or radial designs. Notice the lines, shapes, patterns, and bold colors that were used to make these mixed media pieces. Today, I am going to make my own mandala using different materials. I am going to start with a circle tracer. You can put the tracer anywhere you want, but trace lightly so that your line will show up, but it won't be too dark when you are painting. Here I am starting to fill in the whole circle that I traced with one color. Don't forget to wash your brush in between each new color that you choose. Now I am creating concentric or repeating circles around the circle that I started with. I am going to use colors that are near each other on the color wheel, analogous colors. I don't want to use colors that are opposite because they will make a muddy color like gray or brown. Don't be afraid to change the design of your mandala. Not all of your lines have to be straight as you go around the outside. Maybe some of them are wavy or zigzag. You get to decide what it looks like because you are the artist. Now that my painting is done, I'm going to let it dry. Now that my painting has dried, my next job is going to be using a Sharpie to create line designs and patterns. Don't be afraid to mix up the size of your Sharpies to make your lines more interesting to look at. Don't be afraid to add words or other interesting shapes to make your artwork stand out. The last thing I am going to do on my artwork is add some pops of color with these neon or fluorescent oil pastels. A color like yellow is very light, so it might not show up as brightly as you want, but here I think it still adds an interesting detail to my art, so I'm going to keep going.
here is my mixed media mandala. I hope you had fun with yours.